Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I wanted to teach you about the basics of creating a hover effect using CSS in Squarespace. This is one of the very first things I learned how to code and I was so excited to see this happen on my Squarespace website. I finally felt like a professional designer and I wanted you to feel that amazing too. If you're brand new to all things custom code for Squarespace, head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash learn. There you can get access to my free 15 minute class all about using CSS to customize your site. It also comes with a PDF that explains the basics and has some practice codes. So if you're brand new to code, start here. We're gonna go ahead and hop into Squarespace and I'll teach you how to add a very simple hover effect to a button, to an image, and then to a button on a list item. I think that those are three examples that really help explain how hover effects work. Now let's go ahead and hop into Squarespace and get started. So here we are in my Squarespace website. Now I've written out the basics of how a hover effect works right here. We basically have the selector, which is the object we wanna change, and we're telling the browser, when you hover over that selector, give it this style change. So our very first example is a button. The standard in Squarespace is to just have a solid button go slightly opaque on a hover. If you have an outline button, it will fill with that color, but we're gonna change the background color of the solid button on a hover with this code. This code says, if you see a button, and I hover over that button, take the background color and make it red. Now I've added exclamation point important to this because there's already a hover state for that button and I wanna make sure the browser pays attention. So let's add this code. I'm gonna to navigate to design and then I'll select custom CSS. Now I'm gonna copy this code right here and I'm gonna paste it into custom CSS and now when we hover over that button, it turns red. Pretty awesome, right? We can also do all kinds of cool things to that style change. If you wanna give it a unique border or maybe change the shape of it, let's give it a creative border radius too, 35 PX. And now when I hover over it, it'll curve in the corners by 35 PX. So again, we've got that style change in between those curly brackets. That's what's gonna happen when you hover over the specific selector. All right, let's use another example. I have an image right here. This is an image of Gus the pineapple. And right now there are no hover states for an image. So we don't have to use that exclamation point important right here. But what we're gonna do is add this code to custom CSS. And this code says, when you see an image and I hover over that image, apply a grayscale filter. Now watch what happens. Gus turns gray on a hover. Pretty cool, right? Now the last effect I wanted to show you was a pretty interesting one and that's for list items. I have these buttons here in my list item and just like a standard button, you can kind of see there's a slight color change on a hover and that's what I want to change with custom CSS. Let's make that button red. I've just added the code that says list item content button background color red. To create that hover effect, we'll just add the word hover and now when I hover over that button, it turns red. But here's something cool about hover effects that I think you should know. If I hover over the list item, nothing happens. I have to be over the specific button, but this button lives inside this list item in our CSS. So I can actually say list item hover list item content button color red. I'll remove that second hover. So here we go. I'll repeat that one more time. It says list item hover list item content button background color red. And now when I hover over the entire item, the button will turn red. I don't have to be over the specific button. Sure, it'll change color if that's what I hover over, but this highlights the button itself and makes that color change when I'm actually hovering over the entire list item. A cool little code trick that I thought you should know when working with hover effects in Squarespace. So there you have it, Hover Effects 101. I hope you found this information helpful, and I hope you're also just a little bit more inspired to create some amazing designs using CSS in Squarespace. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give me a like and a comment, and definitely subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new tutorial every single week, and I wanna make sure you catch the latest. Thanks again for watching, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you're gonna love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I put all of my custom codes and pro tips inside one gigantic PDF available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.